Should we do some show feedback? Sure. Uh, it's talking about car seats. And Not sin- car seats. We weren't talking about car seats. Well, we were talking about you and your car mess. I was, and and I, and you not allowing messes in your car. Yes. And send Dito five had to say just started listening, but thank you, Wombat, for dropping the knowledge on GB regarding kids and cars. I have a three year old and a six year old, and I can't believe the mess they make back there. Having once had a three year old and a six year old at the same time, I can also agree. They made it's like having a tornado but, but, in your car. But that's within your realm of control because you decide what the kid brings into the car. Sorta. I mean Trust me. the kid's not like sneaking it's, a brownie into the car. Oh, that is so within the realm of possibility. Oh, my kid's not doing that. <laughs> Trust, I, that is and that, I, that is well within the realm of possibility. I feel like mostly goldfish. Car is so my car yeah. my car is seventy percent Pepperidge Farm goldfish. <laughs> You're the guy in front of me in the car wash who's yeah. his, who's uh all of his groceries are on the sidewalk after they clean his car out. Pretty much. I just feel like it's such a small space. I understand like how your house could get messy with the kids cuz you know, it's it's a much bigger space, you can't find everything. You have kids I mean they're going to be eating there obviously. Cars are small. You can control that environment a lot easier, I feel. That's all. That's that was my point. Uh, you know. Good luck with that. I doing fine. Part, part, uh, uh, back on that, part time twenty XX says Catcast listener for several years, first time posting. Just want to say, as a parent of two young kids, I really like your show. Your down to earth take on gaming and car cleanliness. Yes, two kids have also turned my car into a moving trash bin. It does happen, GP. Yeah, and we three provide a good trio of opinions on topics. And uh, we shouldn't sweat the feedback about lack of focus or preparation. The CADcast is a good show. We don't sweat it. Don't worry. No. <laughs> the only time I sweat is when I don't have the AC on after an hour. Like now. And then my the body my body feels like the backseat of my car. <laughs> the only thing that should be on the floor of your car are your boogers. What? Because you know. where else are you going to put them? I put those them dry in the out. I, and then I put them in the tissues that I keep in my car. Well, usually, yes. If you have tissues, sometimes you forget to bring tissues, though. There's a box of tissues. It goes in my car. I I have kids uh, in my back of my car that need tissues. The worst thing I did was, you know, the last time we went to the beach this summer, which was like, I guess, three weeks ago at this point, I wore like uh, like, uh, aqua socks. Is that what they call them? Yep. Swim shoes. And I wore them in the ocean, which I usually don't do, but I just, it was like rocky. And I'm like, I'll just wear them. Who cares? And after the beach, you know, put all the clothes in a bag, but I just put the shoes down in my trunk. Mm -hmm. And I brought the bag in the house, forgot to grab the shoes. By the time we got home, it was like, you know, nine o'clock at night because we, you know, did other things. So I brought the bag in the house, left the shoes in the car. By the next morning, the ocean water soaked shoes stunk so bad. Uh. I had to take the shoes out of my car, spray the back down with Lysol, and then put like three air fresheners, new air fresheners in my car. And every now and again, there's still a little bit of a linger of the smell. And I'm like, oh, why did I do that? It's like your foot smell mixed with seawater. Yeah. And it was literally, it was just overnight. It's not like I left it in there for a month. It was one night. We we had a close call actually uh, last week after a Rosh Hashanah dinner. Uh, yes, we, we, La we were, Thank you. We were uh, we were headed home from my aunt's house, and Ty said that he didn't feel well. He's feeling like he's feeling a little sick. And before we got in the car, I'm like, "Oh, do you need to like go to the bathroom? Do you think you're going to throw up or something like that?" He's like, "No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay." I'm like, "You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah." Get in the car, drive for five minutes, maybe five minutes, and he's like, "Papa, I don't feel well. I don't feel well. Are you going to throw up?" Yes, I'm, yes, I'm going to throw up. I'm like, oh, no. So I'm like, you know, we're driving. And I, I rolled down the window. I'm like, just just stick your head out the window and throw up. And I know that that's not good because I'm on like a major road. Like I can't, like there's no way to pull over or anything. But I remember once like in college where I rolled, I was feeling, oh, it was, no, I was in a taxi and we rolled the window down and I threw up. 
out the window and it just goes all over the side of the car. It doesn't, you know, yes, it, does. it doesn't like release. It saves it from getting inside the car, but if you do it while the car is moving, it's going. So did you have to get another car wash this week? No, I did. I was, you know, I was luckily there was like a side street and I pulled over oh. super fast and we got him out and he, he puked in, you know, somebody's lawn <laughs> and then <laughs> we uh, got back in the car. Everything was fine. <laughs> Go, go, go. Yeah, I was exactly. I'm glad, I'm glad exactly. this worked out for you. All right, get, the back, get back in the fucking car. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was like a business, like a lawn. So I don't think uh, it wasn't like somebody was living there. Um, so it was fine. Crisis averted. Ty felt much better. No vomit on the car. We win. Mm-hmm. Uh, was that, that's it for the show feedback, huh? I guess so. Wow. Uh-huh. 